That's a lot of suggestions. No kidding. Too many if you ask me. There's no such thing. You know, I bet we could do a whole video made entirely by using their suggestions. <sighs> Guys! We should do a whole video made entirely- The best way to cope with your problems is murder! That's a nice argument, Sonny, but why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up. A mouth is a door, because it allows access in and out of it, and it closes and opens. Kel, we're in a Wendy's. Can you be normal for five seconds? Alright, okay. <laughs> what, what does Y-E-S spell? Yes. Alright, good. What does E-Y-E-S spell? Yes. <laughs> I don't get it. Stop. Yeah, Sonny. Oh, you're still playing Game Boy? I'd have thought the batteries would be long dead by now. By now. I really had a good time at your birthday party last night, and I just thought that, you know, seeing as how we've been friends for a while, it'd be kind of fun if we went to the botanical gardens together. You know, just you and me. No Cal or Aubrey or who is that face behind you? I guess what I'm trying to say is that I care about you. Um, you know, uh, a lot. <laughs> you mean a lot to me, don't turn around. You're, um... You're pretty cute. Has anyone ever told you that before, Sonny? I'd love to take you for a walk. Walk with you, I mean. I have a serious question, Sonny. Who is that behind you? Do you love me? You do, don't you? <laughs> don't try to hide it from me. I can tell. You would do anything for me, wouldn't you? You'd even take care of all those dishes in your kitchen sink for me, wouldn't you? Then would you do this one thing for me? Say hi to the girl behind you. Long dead by now. Long dead by now. Long dead. Don't turn around. 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 Anyone else want an onion? Why the fuck are you eating an onion like an onion? Anyone else want an onion? Why the fuck are you eating an onion like an apple? Sure, I'll have one. Close. Close. Your eyes. Your eyes. You'll, you'll, be be you'll, you'll be here. here. You'll be here. Soon. I'm sorry, guys. I, I. What was that bit? I. Uh, I was. I, I swear. It's I'm, not in English, is it? Today, we are going to learn the benefits of consuming children. Sonny, this is a Culver's. What's cooking? Good looking. The body's in the basement. What the fuck? She was talking to me. What is the maximum legal amount of beans you can eat? Cause I could understand like, you know, half a pound, like maybe you're just gonna, you're fixing for some beans one day, but like, what if, what if, bear with me here, one day you were like, I'll eat like six pounds of beans. Like, would, at some point would someone stop you? Because like, that's a lot of beans. Am I right? fucking Neanderthal, you know that. Well, no, it's a no, serious no, question. Shut up, shut the fuck up. You've had the beans for one day. I have reached my day. limit. You know I mean? like, uh, legal amounts of beans. beans. I'm talking about legal amounts of your stupidity. Actually, in Iceland, hot dogs are the national food, so you can only eat three a day, otherwise, it's considered disrespectful. What if, what if one day you were like, I'm gonna eat like three kilograms? It's America, they don't have kilograms. <laughs> Sonny, have you seen my photo album anywhere? The one with all of us? Yeah. Pretty sure it fell in the hole. What hole? Oh my god! <laughs> what is that? In the hole. Yeah, I can see that. What's it doing there? Well, I woke up this morning. And there was a hole. What are you gonna do about it? Well, I put a rug over it. Yeah, I fell in the hole. I'm not sure I'm really the best person to advise here. I got shoved into a lake and almost died when I was in high school. Although, you know, something that did help me during that time was remembering that high school was not going to be my whole life. There, that's it. There's your advice. If you're ever pushed into a lake and drowning, in high school or otherwise, just remember that you won't be drowning forever. Wait, what? It won't be your whole life is the point. It's worth working hard for if you're trying to get good grades for a good university so that university doesn't suck for you, but ultimately nothing is more important than you staying healthy now, so don't prioritize school over your mental health ever. There's the advice, really. I know I'm 
It's ironic for me to say that. I'm sorry. But uh, do as I say, not as I do, and all that. <laughs> Shit, I'm feeling kind of sick. I should go for medicine. So, you're feeling sick, right? Hero, no. Don't try to run now. Eat. <laughs> Guess who just found out the difference between wax paper and parchment paper the hard way? Wait, what's the difference? One you can safely use in the oven, and the other one can also be used in the oven if the thing you're making happens to be fire. I feel bad for the disabled fandom, not gonna lie. The what?! Why are you short? Why are you single? Fuck you! Every day is constant pain and suffering that never ends. Why was I born? Why do I exist if all I do is suffer? I should just... <gasps> Kitty! There are no winners in a battle of one. Oh, come on, Sonny. You know I'm here as well. <sighs> you will come back inside. Please, it's 11.46. Come back inside. It's cold. You can do it, Mario. You can do it, Mario. You're this close, Shut I up, swear. hold on! Oh! Well, how am I even supposed to react to it when it keeps going black like that? Oh, I mean, this is just obviously unfair. Don't give up, Mario. You can do it. Oh, no, come on! I had it! Here we go, here we go, everyone shut up, shut up. No! Oh, come on! I was just... Oh, last attack! Sonny, Sonny, why can't it hit me in the menus? Since when was that established? No, I know, it's it's supposed to be like a subversive kind of fight. Like, this is beyond unfair, really. I'm sorry, I'm getting frustrated. It's alright, you still have some food, you can eat it. Yeah, but I don't want to use the items, I should be able to do it without it. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night. I can feel my leg. And my arm. Even my fingers. I play this like a DAMN FIDDLE! Uh, Sonny is so handsome. Oh, don't say that. You're pretty too. I'm not jealous, I'm gay. My pronouns are USA. Fill your body with cranberries so the horse that kills you gets a sensual surprise when he begins to feed. I will give the horse that kills me no such luxury. I have a dream. That one day, every person in this nation will control their own destiny. A nation of the truly free, damn it. A nation of action, not words, ruled by strength, not committee. The law changes to suit the individual, not the other way around. Where power and justice are back where they belong, in the hands of the people. Where every man is free to think, to act, for himself. Fuck all these limp dick lawyers and chicken shit bureaucrats. Fuck this 24-hour internet spew of trivia and celebrity bullshit. Fuck American pride. Fuck the media, fuck all of it. Where every man is free to think, to act, by himself. For him, the fuck. <laughs> so cool, so cool, so cool, Cal. so cool, 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 Would you rather have unlimited bacon, but no more video games, or games, unlimited games, but no more games? What? Do you think people would notice if I started growing cannabis? I mean, it would probably blend in with my other plants, but just to be safe, maybe I should keep it inside? Well, since when have you been smoking weed? It's cheaper than therapy. Or should I stay inside with no contact from the outside world while pretending my problems don't exist like Sonny did? If you want to compare, getting stoned is arguably better with friends than alone. Well, so Wait, you're you're sorry, 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 the Vendor's Green Panzer Test is a multi stage aerobic capacity test. Alright, here's a fun Christmas idea. We hang mistletoe, but instead of kissing, you have to fight whoever's under it. Mistletoe. Stop encouraging her, Sonny. I fear no man. But that thing. It scares me. It's time to face your fears, Sonny. <laughs> Aubrey, you okay? I'm fine. But just this headache keeps coming and going. Hey, guys. There it is again. <laughs> you humans are pitifully weak. A race like yours should have long since died out. You don't have to say things like that. No, but I want to. 
Because seeing such frailty as yours renders me ill to the core and- Have you ever seen a peony before? Obviously I've seen a peony before, you Neanderthalic cretin! Now be destroyed as I vaporize every atom! Okay, I just wasn't sure if they had them in space. They remind me of you because they're really grand and beautiful, but they're also very loyal flowers. Some peonies have renewal buds that grow the next season, so that even if the flowers wilt now, the plant always bounces back. And that's why they remind me of you! I understand that you want to cling to your feelings, our sweetheart. But I also want you to think about if being loyal to someone who can only think of you as beholden to them is good for you. If it helps, I think you're worth so much, even by yourself. You don't need her to define that value. And you don't have anything to be insecure about. So there's no need to lash out at people like that. You... Me what? What is your name, flower boy? Oh, me? I'm Basil. Pleased to meet you. Sir Basil, if you would forgive my earlier transgressions, I'm of a mind to spread your message to the galaxy. Eons have I waited for validation, and that need has vanished in an instant upon receiving your wisdom moments ago. Would you accept a small ship with which to array the stars in your way of thinking? I'm very sorry. I'm not sure I could just up and leave my friends like that. Then it falls to me. I must away. You have given me much to think about, and I know a few old pilots who could benefit well from your words. Farewell. Take care. You know he's just gonna come crawling back to Sweetheart, right? Maybe. Or maybe he can teach her to see her own worth without putting down others. Or maybe he'll realize that it's not good for either of them to force something that won't work. We'll see. Next season. Obviously I've seen a peony before, you Neanderthalic cretin! Cretin is how you say that word. For what it's worth, I think you're worth so much- Wait, for what it's worth, I think you're worth? Wow, I should really have written that differently. <laughs> Do you guys want to go on the pirates right after? Um, I'm not sure. I think it'll be a little scary. That's alright, Basil. We don't have to go on it if you don't want. Or if it's easier, I'm happy to sit next to you. Really? Thank you! I'm definitely going, so you can sit next to me too if you want. Uh, I'd like that. Besides, who doesn't love pirates with their swashbuckling and their funny voices? Too fast, too fast, too fast, too fast. I have the sharpest memory here. Name one time I forgot something. You left me, Kel, and Basil in a Walmart parking lot at 3 a.m. a day ago. I did that on purpose. Try again. You left me, Kel, and Basil in a Walmart parking lot at 3 a.m. a day ago. You left me... You left me, Kel, and Basil in a Walmart parking lot at 3... Parking lot? <laughs> You left me, Kel, and Basil in a Walmart parking lot. I said it again. E. 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 Look, Look at all those chickens. Knick knack, Patty Rock, I'm about to give this boy a smack. No, wait. <laughs> Kel and I don't use pet names. I see. Hey, what do bees make? Honey? Yes, dear. Don't ever lie to my face again. Can you move your elbows in my sternum? Oh, sure, sorry. It's also kind of hard to play with your legs draped over me like that. Okay, sorry. Dudes, that's kind of gay. You Literally have a girlfriend! Happy <laughs> Pride Month? Holy crap, holy! Pneumo now, tremicroscopic stilico volcaniconiosis? How do they come up with this stuff? <laughs> Boom, shakalaka! Mom told me to do the chores. Bitch, I only do tasks. Hey, Aubrey. Hey, take this. Take, uh huh? I don't know, it's a Baconator. They wanted us to give you a burger. Who's they? The, the, the people, you know, I don't know. Why'd they want that? Oh, because I'm a fortune teller now. Would you just take it? Uh, sure, thanks a lot, pal. Hmm. What does the fox say? <laughs> do you guys ever get the random impulse to put milk before your cereal? What do you mean? I do that all the time. Basil, that's disgusting! You're supposed to put the cereal first. You guys know you're supposed to put the bowl first, right? I always just ate it out of the box. Peanut butter! Are you even listening to me right now? Oh, I hear your questions constantly. They come to me in my dreams like a prophet receiving visions from an angry god. If life was a party, I'd be the piñata. 
Cal, get out of the tank. You're not my dad. No, nope. get out of the fucking tank. I'm your older brother. You're not my dad. I am your older brother. Get out of the fucking tank. I'm in a tank and you're oh, not. I will... I'm literally in a fucking get tank. Get out of the fucking tank. I'm literally in a tank. You're get not. Get out of... You're not my dad. Literally get out of the tank. <laughs> Man, I love this bubble gem. Are you trying to lose your fingers? For the love of John, Aubrey, just let me be happy. Hey, Cal! Yeah? Fuck you! Today I'm on a roll. Oh, so that's why you're on roller skates. Yeah, I don't know how to. Please help. Hello? Hey, what's up? I need your help. Can you come here? I can. I'm buying clothes. All right, well, hurry up and come over here. I can't find him. What do you mean you can't find him? I can't find him. There's only soup. What do you mean there's only soup? It means there's only soup. Boy, get out of the soup aisle! All right, you don't have to shout at me. There's more soup. What do you mean there's more soup? There's just more soup. Go into the next aisle! There's still soup. Where are you right now? I'm at soup. What do you mean you're at soup? I mean, I'm at soup. What store are you in? I'm at the soup store. Why are you buying clothes at the soup store? Fuck you! Stop chewing so fucking loud, bro. Leave that little guy alone. Fuck you gonna do if I don't? I'll have you know, I stubbed my toe last week while watering my spice garden, and I only cried for 20 minutes. Thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who doesn't? A horrible decision, really. Pew <laughs> pew. I know. Why? Yeet. If only there was someone out there who loved you. What do you have in your hand, Sonny? A knife. No! Wait, Mari, why are you here? I... I can't say no. Can I get a... Basil! Hurry the fuck up! I've come to make an announcement. Sweetheart is a bitch-ass motherfucker. She pissed on my fucking life. That's right, she took her stupid fucking spiky mace out and she smashed up my life. And she said her mace was this big. And I said, that's disgusting. So I'm making a call-out post on my Twitter.com. Sweetheart, you've got a small mace. It's the size of this tofu, except way smaller. What is anywhere at the start of nowhere and the end of it all between nothing and most of everyone all at once? Same, same. You took... Everything for me! Nah. -uh. Cal, what are you doing in the kitchen? Uh. Cal, what are you about to somehow fuck up this time? Oh, come on, hero, I'm not that bad at cooking. Last time you tried to make a salad, you started a fire somehow. So I may be bad at cooking. Stop fucking posting about Kelburger. Every time I log into my Instagram, it's Kelburger. Go on Twitter.com, it's Kelburger. Guess what are in YouTube shorts? It's Kelburger. What the fuck? I'm calling the FBI. I am the FBI. Tonight, one of you will betray me. Is it me, Omri? No, it isn't you, Cal. Is it me, Omri? No, it isn't you, Aubrey. Is it me, Omri? No, it isn't you, Hero. Is it me, Omri? No, it isn't you, Murray. Is it me, Omri? And he wants to play hide and seek. For yeah, what a bitch! Time, I can't give a fuck orange, about some ancient orange soda. Orange that Joe shit was made in like the 1800s. Brand, including the can you're holding now, by the way. And you will respect it because it is a national treasure. You know, I actually just ran into patients. Welcome to the Real Housewives of Faraway Town. I'm in the living room. Stay back. Step over here, I can manage that. No problem there. No, no, no. No pep around, nothing. What's his deal? He found out that you can break a rib if he sneezes too hard. You can? Cal, stop using my email address to make Club Penguin accounts. You ever get so tired you start seeing spiders? Me when I sleep in for four days and start seeing it. Uh, oh, this isn't a safe space suddenly? Why does a group of extroverts asking questions and talking to the quiet kid always sound like they're conducting a social experiment? Just got diagnosed with cool guy syndrome. <laughs> so now I take Adderall. Hey, real talk here for a second. I would never make fun of you for something like that. I've often felt, as I'm sure you have, that a number of facets of contemporary society rely too heavily on what a person can do to determine what they're worth. Not only is it a logical fallacy, as human sentiency is based around other things, like appreciation of beauty and the ability to pass on and retain information and stuff like that, but it's also just straight up immoral. I mean, 
Just being here should undoubtedly be enough. What, you have to prove you're good enough to occupy a certain space? You can't just be there because it's where you want to be? It's nonsense. You're not smart enough to pass your classes at school? In a few years, no one's gonna give a fuck, you know? They'll remember your wisdom, or your emotions, or your preferences. That's the shit that matters. So that was long-winded, but the point I'm getting at is that it's fine you couldn't find a meme. I'm just glad that people like you are still here. Because everyone deserves to belong. <laughs> fucking god, sir! The look on your dumbass face! You unbelievable fucking moron! Of course I'm gonna rip the shit out of you for this! How long does it take to find a meme, you incompetent fuckbag? Just scroll around, know your meme, or Google images for fucking five seconds! You lazy son of a fucker! What in the blind fuck did you think was happening here? Say cheese! Oh, oh gosh, this photo! It's perfect! Guys, come take a look. Move over, Kelsey. No, you move. You move. There'll be room for all of us to see it. Yep. That one's going in the cringe compilation. And scene. Oh, I'm tired. I'm sweaty. <laughs> There's a lot of screaming in this one. It is only a blowout after all. It's probably if it's with your it's cryo breath. It's probably like the fire where you get a minute to save your picture from it. But uh, there's no reason to hold back, is it? It looked like Wild Pikmin to me. I thought it was gonna stop me for a cutscene. I'm glad it didn't. Oh wait, that was a really bad time to uh, let that happen. Oh god, okay, can I whistle them to unfreeze them? 